Your typical mower is a pretty robust and reliable piece of machinery, performing on demand after even months of sitting at the back of the shed. Like any machine, your mower needs maintenance to keep it performing at its best and to ensure a long working life. There is some maintenance that's best done by your local mower mechanic, things like oil changes and tune-ups, but the rest of it is pretty easy to DIY. I'm going to start at the finish. Every time you mow, you need to make sure that you're putting your mower away nice and clean. Tip your mower over so the spark plug's pointing upwards. One caution first, always disconnect the spark plug lead before doing anything under the deck. The reason for this is that if you turn the disc, it can work like an old fashioned crank start and fire up the engine. If there's only a little build up, then chances are you can just brush it away. Otherwise, hose it off. Just take care to avoid wetting anywhere other than under the deck. Some mowers have a built in wash port. You just connect your hose to the top of the deck and run it on full for about 30 seconds. And before you put your mower away, run it on full reps for a minute to dry it off. Mower blades should be checked regularly. Once it's clean under the deck, have a close look at them. Just don't forget to disconnect the spark plug again. What you're looking for is excessive wear, blunt edges and chips taken out of the blades. If you find anything like that, replace the entire blade set. Don't try and replace just one blade and don't try and sharpen the blades because that can create problems. Changing blades is easy, but not done the way you'd expect. With your mower sitting level, open up the discharge flap and use a strap to hold it open. Rotate the disc so the blade is towards the chute. Use a ring spanner to undo the nut on top of the blades and remove. Repeat this for all blades. It's good practice to replace all nuts and bolts when you replace the blades. You'll find they come in the pack. To buy new blades, all you really need to know is your brand, model and deck size or cutting width. Fitting them is nice and simple. Just reverse the removal process and make sure the nuts are nice and tight. Tighten to 14 to 19 Newton meters for the technical minded. If you're not the handy type or you don't have the tools, then drop your mower at your local Victor dealer for a blade change. While your mower is up on the bench, check the air filter. Carefully remove the cover and pull it out. If it's very dusty, use a stiff paintbrush to brush it off, avoiding any dirt falling inside the filter. If it's looking damaged or badly clogged, just replace it with a new one. And if you're going to put the old one back on, make sure you check the seals before you do. Next you want to look at your spark plug. You'll need a spark plug socket for removing the plug. Pull it out and look for any buildup of material around the electrodes or any wear or discolouring. If it looks at all doubtful, replace it with a new one. Either way, make sure you screw it back in tightly. And that's the last of the heavy duty stuff. Now I'll give everything a quick go over. Make sure all the areas of the engine are clean and tidy. If dust or clippings build up around the engine block, it can cause overheating and make it harder to spot any leaks from gaskets. Brush off the rest of the mower and then wipe clean with a pre-moistened cleaning cloth. These new gas off wipes work really well. They lift oil and grime and they won't damage rubber, plastic or paintwork. Then check all hoses and seals for any leaks. Make sure cables are running smoothly, all nuts and bolts are suitably tightened and reconnect your spark plug and you're almost done. Now there's really only one last thing, check your oil. Only check the oil level on your mower when it's been sitting on a level surface and it's been idle for at least half an hour. If the level is between the marks on the dipstick, you're all good to go, but if the oil is low and you do need to top it up, make sure you only use a quality engine oil designed for power equipment. If your oil looks very dark on the dipstick, then chances are it's due for a change. Your local Victor Gold dealer can do this for you as part of a service and tune-up. If you do decide to change your own oil, then the best way to do it is with the Briggs & Stratton Oil Removal Kit. It avoids the mess of tipping the mower over and draining. Remember to always refer to your mower operator's manual for all technical details and to visit your local Victor Gold dealer for all your service requirements. And that's it. Simple mower maintenance to keep your machine purring along and cutting perfectly.